Hello, my name is Bill Burroughs and um, I'd like to uh, uh, invite you to uh, sit along and, uh, and understand a little bit about the Microsoft Model View Controller model uh, in the context of Visual Basic. Um, I'm going to uh, cover a number of topics in this tutorial set. Um, the first, which will be the subject of uh, this current video, will be the concept of URL routing. Then we'll look at a simple sample application. Then we'll talk about adding business rules, uh, some statements on testing, and then to demonstrate the, uh, the true independence of the model compared to the view and the controller, I'm going to use a couple of alternative view engines. One is uh, Silverlight as a view engine, and the other is using uh, Visual Basic XML literals as a view engine. Um, I should add that this uh, tutorial is built around uh, the MVC release candidate. Uh, I doubt that there will be any changes of significance uh, between the uh, release candidate and the final uh, released product. So I suspect this will um, be current and accurate uh, for some time uh, to come. So let's talk about URL routing. Um, the interesting thing about uh, the model view controller is it does not use the typical concept of a um, file name as the destination uh, page that we see in the traditional ASP or ASP.NET uh, approach. For example, we see here a, a URL and notice that it's defaulting uh, here. There's no specification provided after my little development localhost um, um, designation. And so the question is, what's inside this cloud? How do we get from this URL to this page? Notice that the URL is replicated up here at the top. So let's, let's uh, open up that cloud and see some details. The first we see is that we see a routine called register routes. Uh, this is called automatically when the application starts running. And down here we see a, um, a method call called um, map route uh, on a routes object. Uh, notice the route object is a collection of things here that is uh, provided to this particular uh, sub-procedure. And what we're defining here are um, three important things. First of all, we're defining that this is the default. Okay. Um, then we're saying that it consists of three things, a controller followed by an action followed by an identifier. So the controller in the MVC uh, model is the controller itself and, and all action from the user goes directly to the controller. So uh, we're going to talk about a controller. Controllers have actions associated with them, that is behaviors, and the action sometimes needs some information and that's the ID. Notice that the default under this syntax is defined as a new uh, object with a controller uh, of a value called home. Uh, it has an action called index and it has an empty string as its ID. Now over here in my solution explorer notice that I have a folder called controllers. Uh, these contain all the controllers in my application. Notice they all have a uh, suffix of the word controller and so when we specify home here um, we are implicitly talking about the home controller. So that's going and pointing to this home controller um, procedure right here. Notice we also have an account controller. And as I build the application uh, in the sub subsequent videos, you will see me add more controllers uh, to this folder. So that's how um, we start with uh, um, the, the URL gets routed to the home controller. And uh, let's go to the next slide here and see how we get to the actual code itself. Notice that, um, the, again, the home controller is pointing to the uh, home controller class. And inside that class, we see two actions. One is the index action, and one is the about action. So here we're specifying that the default is the index action. So this code gets executed right here inside this function. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the the what's happening here. Well, I'll talk about it now. Um, there is something called view data, which is a dictionary of um, name value pairs. And what I'm storing here is a um, an entry with the name message and the value welcome to ASP.NET MVC. 
uh, I am then returning a view, that is, I'm going to a specific view, which uh, generates the results that are uh, passed back to the user. Um, so let's take a little more look at that. So here we see, in addition to the controllers folder, we see the views folder. And notice the views folder has a home uh, subfolder. And so this, by definition, uh, has the same name as the controller name. And inside here, inside my views, I have two view um, methods. One is about and one is called index. Notice these are ASPX pages, uh, whereas the controller is an actual um, VB class. However, these are not ASPX pages in the typical sense of what you may be familiar with with ASP.NET uh, and the uh, web forms model. Uh, these are basically um, more analogous to a simple ASP page, uh, the, the technology that preceded the uh, uh, ASP.NET web form model. Uh, specifically, they do not have um, things such as um, uh, postbacks, uh, and they don't remember the state of the object, so they don't have a view state and that kind of stuff. Now, if we move on uh, on down, we see that um, this actual code, this ASPX page, contains um, some uh, ASP code. Um, here we see something called an HTML encode, and we are actually in, uh, displaying the, the view data. Um, message element. Remember we had the name value pair. So this is taking um, the name message and finding its value and displaying that. And then here's a paragraph with some more information. So this is my, my typical um, um, view when I use uh, ASPX as the view model. And so here's sort of a concluding summary uh, diagram. It shows that when the system received this URL um, through the uh, route map uh, that was registered because there's nothing here. It went to the default which took us to the home controller and the index method which is right here um, that de defines something called welcome to ASP.NET uh, MVC and returned a view which took us down to the views folder into the home folder and got the index which is this right here. This was executed and passed back to the user. Here you see welcome to ASP.NET MVC. So that is sort of the process through which this uh, URL was um, processed and this was the pro uh, final view that was produced. So that gives you a little um, understanding of the URL routing that takes place and I'll explain it more as we go through the various um, uh, components. So the next thing I want to do is, uh, is terminate this application and the next application we'll start to build a small sample.